I want to give you the reasons why 90% of all beautiful and independent women will never get married, but the ugly ones will. <laughs> and for this video, I'm going to speak about the beautiful ladies and why they are going to find it so hard to find a partner. But always you'll find all the ugly women checking your school, the people that you studied with, and they were, you know, they weren't that beautiful. They're all married. They have families. But you and your good looks, you're struggling to find a, a, a husband. And is it that men don't want beauty? Well, that's not the point. But I want you to get the point here. Now, there are a couple of reasons why men uh, just don't like beautiful women when it comes to marriage but they will want them just to use them and to do you know go for parties and all that but when they want to settle down they will never want to marry such kind of a woman one remember one uh, of the things about these beautiful ladies is that um most of these ladies they think that you owe them money the fact that they are beautiful they think that you owe them money they think that all the time, just because I'm looking good, you have to pay all my bills. You have to do this and this and this. And men are always watching and saying, mm, for this one, no, this is a waste of time. This one should make me broke. And uh, such kind of ladies also, remember one thing, they themselves, they are, also, they are always broke and they require favors all the time. This is a, this is a fact. Go and check in most. Even if this lady, uh, you know, has it all, she has the money, she will always pretend broke just because she's beautiful. I just don't know why it happens like that. And men are always watching. They're saying, hey, here, there's a big problem. And uh, to some of these ladies, just the fact that you say hi to them is like <laughs> they have instantly uh, become orphans. It's like... They, their life depends on you. It's like they never lived before you came in. And uh, you find that most of the men, they find this to be a bother. And they are, not that they don't want to give or they don't want to help or do something. But I don't know. It's just a trend with beautiful women. They, they like this so much. And um, they are also too soft for life. And most of them know nothing. You will find that most men, if uh, they are going to do some, uh, people are going to maybe uh, Gikomba to go and look for clothes for selling and things like that. They will, they will never dare go with these beautiful ladies. In most cases, men will go with, um, <laughs> you know, these, uh, I'll call them tomboyish kind of ladies. Eh? Ladies who are uh, hustlers, go-getters. You'll find that, hey, I have this best friend of mine who we can go shopping and doing this and brokering this and that and this but for the beautiful ladies very many men will just find them soft for nothing and uh, they'll only call them wherever they are parties and things like that or maybe they want to just enjoy some safari sevens and you know celebrate something or birthday parties but they'll never go to them where they're going to hustle that's that's really true and um Remember one thing also with these beautiful ladies, they are always in high demand from playboys. Very high demand. Being with them is like planting maize at the, at the, at the, at the roadside because everybody wants a piece of them. They, want, they are always in high demand. So you just don't want to keep on competing over someone who is on high demand and you're married and you have children and you have a life to live and all that. And... Uh, Another thing about these ladies, today I'm giving you all the points, is that most of them don't know how to respect a man. They don't know how to respect a man. And if you want to keep a man, men don't care about love. They care about respect. You can love a man for all he cares. He will not even listen to it. Even if you tell them a thousand I love you, they don't care. Men love people who respect them. Okay? And... Uh, some of these ladies as well, some of them, they are very bad cooks. They don't know how to cook. Why? Because have you ever gone to a party and all the ugly girls are the ones, you know, uh, lighting the, uh, the, 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 the firewood and all that. But the beautiful ladies is like, uh, come on, you can just make the salads and all that. I just don't know what that perception comes from because most of the beautiful ladies they seem to be so soft that nobody really care even their parents at home it's like they never give them the advice of how to go and learn how to cook and remember the ways to a man's heart 
is through the stomach. Don't be lied by anyone else. And uh, there are some of these ladies as well, uh, come to think of it, because they have learned to be beautiful over a, sp a period of time, as the years progress, they'll want to keep that trend. So most of them, they'll end up using artificial skin lightening creams and things like that to keep the bars going. Mm -hmm. And um, th these are things like glutathione and all that, which they inject themselves. And by the end of it all, after they are old, they will end up looking like ghosts. Mm -hmm. So in most cases, people don't really care about such. That's the reason when it comes to marriage, you just look at this and you say, hey, man, not this one. I don't want this kind of person when, when I'm old. And um, another thing is that in most cases with these ladies, they also have no idea about investments, about business, because their wealth is in their looks. It's not bad to be beautiful, but if you overcome these things, you'll be able to find the big picture of why it's so different. To you, when you're trying to find a suitor, you're trying to find a man to marry you, men look at these specific things. Because men always want peace of mind. They want peace of mind. And when they, when they will want to settle down, they'll be looking for someone who is going to give them peace of mind. Now, quickly, let me tell you what men really want when it comes to marriage. And when you use this point, you're going to understand. Now, one, they need a lady who is respectful. Remember, even the Bible says in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 18, Wives, submit yourselves unto your husband as it is fitting to the Lord. If you cannot submit, if you cannot just uh, respect your husband, then it's going to be kaput for you. It's very hard for you to get a man who is going to respect you instead of you. Men are supposed to love. Women are supposed to respect. That's, that's the thing. And again, men want a lady who can cook. That's that's. That's for sure. I've told you about that. The The way to a man's heart is through the stomach. And again, they also want a, la a lady who is hardworking. Okay? This is what we call a prudent wife. Someone who is hardworking. Someone who can think. Someone who can come up with solutions. And uh, again, they also want a lady who can take care of her family. Not just any person who is always drunk all the time, running up and down in all parties and functions, and they don't care about their family. No, a man is always, always looking for that. And they also want a lady who behaves like their mother. Men are always looking for their mothers. If if you behave, look at the look at the mother of, of the guy that you want him to marry you. They are, men are always looking for that character because they have they have lived all their lives looking upon their mothers that's the kind of person they want not not uh, this other whatever okay and also finally they also want a lady who is laid back okay who dresses modestly and keeps her life private men are not interested by uh, ladies who when it comes to marriage a lady who is always all over all over, you know, uh, showing a, 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 you know, a breast, showing a back, showing everything. No, men want someone who is reserved, laid back. And remember, if you're not going to do this, if you're not going to look at these points which I've given you here, it's a matter of time. This verse comes to reality. Remember, there's a Bible verse in the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 1, which says, And in that day, seven women... <coughs> will take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own food and wear our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name to take away our shame. A day is coming when people will be, when seven women will be getting hold of one man and say, Please marry us, because nobody wants to marry them. If you don't improve yourself, if you don't look at these things, then it will be all up to you. To keep on worrying about, hey, why am I not seeing a man? You will pray, speak in tongues, go to all pastors. And at the end of the day, the problem is you.